In this session, we'll look at a way to create a code set style that displays the plottable geometry of a corridor model. Generally speaking, we'll be creating a code set style that displays feature lines only. As you can see, I'm in Civil 3D and I have a drawing open on screen. Let's take a quick tour. Right here, I have a proposed road center line alignment called Main Street. I also have an existing ground surface called EG. If I zoom out and we pan the drawing over, we can see that those items were used to pull a surface profile. I have also defined a finished grade profile for Main Street. Let's pan the drawing back. Right here I have an assembly, or a typical section, that I'll be using to define a corridor model. Now the goal here is to create a code set style that displays only the feature line geometry that I would like to see on my construction drawings. Let's start by building a corridor. I'm going to zoom out, we'll pan down so we can see the alignment. We'll open the corridor menu and I'll choose corridor. I'm going to name the corridor Main Street. I'll use the Main Street alignment and the Main Street finished grade profile for my baseline. I will also use the Main Street assembly that we just saw. I'd like to target that existing ground surface, and I don't want to adjust any of the other settings, so I'll remove this check and I'll click OK. And right there, we can see my corridor model. Now this isn't bad, in fact if I was going to be editing this corridor this would be perfect because it allows me to see everything. I can see all the feature lines, I can see the assembly insertions. If I hover over the corridor model, we can see the code set style being used is called All Codes. Let's create a copy of that style. I'll do that by going to the Settings tab, and if I open the General category, and then open up Multi-Purpose Styles, we'll find the Code Set Styles right here. I'm going to right-click on All Codes, and I'll choose Copy. And then on the Information tab, we'll give this a new name. I'm going to call it Corridor Plot. And then we'll jump to the Codes tab. Now the Code Set Style controls the appearance of many things, and those things are organized into these three categories, Link, Point, and Shape. What I'm going to do is essentially hide the display of everything in this code set style, and then we'll come back in a little bit and just turn on the items that we want to see. I'm going to start by opening up the link category, and then I'll select the first code, and I'll drag down, I'll hold my shift key and select the last code. To hide the display of the links, I'll click inside the style column, and I'll set all of these to no display. And I'll click OK. I don't need any labels, so we'll click in that column, and we'll set all of these to none. I don't need the render materials either. I'll click in that column and we'll choose none and I'll click OK. I will then drag this back up and we'll close the link category. Let's open point. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll hold my shift key and grab all of the codes. In the style column, we'll set all the object styles to no markers. I'll click OK. I don't believe anybody's using a label style. We do have quite a few feature line styles here. Let's clear them out. I'll click in that column, and we'll set all of these to no display. I will then drag this back up, and we'll collapse that category. Finally, we'll go to Shape, we'll select the codes, and I'm going to choose No Display for the object style. I'll click OK. Doesn't look like we have any labels. For now, I am finished working on this code set style, so I'll click OK to return to the drawing. At this point, I have defined a code set style called Corridor Plot that essentially displays nothing. Next, we'll identify the names of the feature lines we'd like to appear on our construction drawings. One way to do that is by looking at the corridor that I have right here. Many of them are already displaying. If I hover over this sidewalk line, I can see it has a point code of sidewalk in. If I hover over this line, I can see that sidewalk out. I could use this same workflow to identify the codes of other feature lines. Another way to find these codes is to revisit the assembly. If I zoom in and take a closer look at these rings or points, these are the components that create the feature lines in the corridor. If I hover over this one, I can see it's called Sidewalk Out. Likewise, this one is called Sidewalk In. Let's come over to the curb here. If I hover, I can see this one's called Top Curb. Let's come over here. This is called Flange. Now, there's actually a point that's associated with the lane as well. I'm going to select the lane. I'll right click and I'll choose Display Order, Bring to Front. I will then hover over that point again, and we can see it has a code of ETW, or Edge of Traveled Way. That's the feature line that I want to show on my construction drawings. I don't need to have the flange feature line drawn at that same location. Let's back up. I could then continue to use a similar workflow to identify any additional feature lines I'd like to display in my new code set style. When finished, I'll pan back over to the corridor model, and then we'll edit the new corridor plot code set style such that it displays feature lines for all of the codes that we identified.
I'll do that by right-clicking on Corridor Plot, and I'll choose Edit. We'll expand the Points category. This is the area that creates the feature lines. I'm going to come down and find Back of Curb. Then we'll come down to the Feature Line Style column, and I'll click. And I'll use this one called Corridor Curb Line. And I'll click OK. I will then come down to the Crown Code. Do I need to display a feature line at the crown? Maybe not. In my case, I'd rather show the alignment geometry at this location, so let's keep the current No Display Feature Line style for this code. Next, I'll choose the code representing the edge of traveled way. I will then come over to the Feature Line Style menu, and I'll select the Corridor Edge of Traveled Way Feature Line Style. I'll click OK. Let's drag this down. We'll take care of the sidewalk. I'll grab the first one, and I'll hold my Shift key and grab the second one. I will then click in the Feature Line Style column. Now, I don't think there's a dedicated Feature Line Style for the sidewalk. I happen to be using the stock Civil 3D template in this case, so I'm just shopping off the rack. I'm going to choose Basic Feature Line for now. At any point, I could open up this menu and I could create a new Feature Line Style, or I could copy an existing one and make changes to it. Basic will be great for right now. Let me click OK. I will then go to Top of Curb. Let's select a Feature Line Style for that. We'll choose Corridor Curb Line. I'll click OK and OK. Now that I'm finished, let's assign that new code set style to our corridor. I'll do that by selecting the corridor model, come over to the Properties palette, and then I'll change the code set style to Corridor Plot. And I'll press Escape. Now this looks good, but it's not perfect. I can see my sidewalk geometry here, and if I hover, we can see the appropriate codes. Sidewalk in, sidewalk out, etc. Notice that I have a feature line here at the crown. Now, I didn't want that. If I hover over that feature line, I can see it has a code of crown base. Maybe we missed one. Let's take a look. I'm going to right click on the corridor plot code set style and I'll choose edit. And if I go to the point category, notice there is no crown base code in here. If you remember, this code set style was created from a style called All Codes. Well, this shows us it didn't in fact have all of the codes in it. Not a problem, we can very quickly add the missing codes. I'll start by clicking the Import Codes button, and then I'll zoom out and pan back over to the assembly. And as I click each of these parts, any codes associated with these parts that have not been registered in the code set style will be added automatically. Let me press Enter. And you can see we have some additional codes here. Note that the new codes have been added with no display styles, which is perfect because I don't want to see them anyway. Let's click Apply and OK. I will then zoom out and we'll pan back over to our corridor. Now you might think that that would fix things. Not the case though. That's because these feature lines have already been drawn. To update the feature lines, I'm going to select the corridor model and then I'll choose Corridor Properties from the ribbon. And here on the Parameters tab, notice these toggles. I can click to remove both of these checks, or I can click right here to remove them both at the same time. I will then click Apply and Rebuild the Corridor, and when I do, it will essentially undraw the Corridor model. I can then recheck those toggles, or I can click right here to check them all. I'll click Apply and Rebuild, and this will redraw the Corridor using the current code set style. Let me click OK. I'll press Escape. We'll do a quick regen. This gives me a fresh set of feature lines. And as I pan this around, I can see my corridor looks exactly the way I need it to on my construction drawings. At any point, if I needed to make edits to this corridor model, I could select it, go to the Properties palette, and change the code set style back to All Codes, where we started. Then, after making my changes, when it comes time to plot, I can select the corridor model again, and then we can flip the style back to Corridor Plot. So when it comes to code set styles, or any object styles for that matter, I like to think of them in two categories, working and plottable. Working styles are used to display Civil 3D objects in a way that makes them easy to edit. And plottable styles, like this one, are used to display objects in a way that makes them easy to plot. If you get a chance, try experimenting with code set styles. With a little practice, you'll find that having some specialized styles can be a great way to help you manage your corridor designs. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.